Now, I can't say too much about that because I may say it tomorrow or whenever I speak. But the power in those two questions. See, for those of us who have, I have not taught in the era of No Child Left Behind. And I didn't teach in an era when Wisconsin could go from 53 years of a bargaining law, 30 some years of agency fee, to gone. The WEAC is almost gone. Their headquarters next year will be down five staff. And these local option locals are trying to decide whether they're going to go alone or stay together. Do you understand that that happened since January of 2010? In two years, you took one of the most established, largest, most effective unions in America and brought them to their knees. And I want to specially think or talk about this new world that is different than the one you worked to talk about. It's totally different. And just as in President Obama, I, the, the most powerful thing that I've heard Jim Messina talk about as the main campaign manager, everything they did in 2008, they changed. It's really hard to give up a strategy that worked. They did better in that election in 2008 against incredible odds, raised more money, involved more people than any presidential campaign in the history of America. And for 2012, they threw it all out because the world had changed that dramatically. Now, in our great union, the idea that we're going to continue doing what we've done for the last 30, for the next 10, is crazy. We cannot do for the next 10 what we did the last 30. And this is where I believe our retired group is really going to have to step up to the plate. Because it's no longer the world you worked in and taught in and whatever position you held in school. It's not that one. And we have got to be able to react differently and do things differently or we will not exist. Oh, I mean, we'll be there. There will always be a National Education Association and an AEA. But it won't be what we think of us. The way we thought of us in our, the last 25 years. What we did, the activism, the advocacy. We have to change that and I need your help. Because if you can keep demanding that we do more and more of what we did for the last 30 years, we're in trouble. Because we have like half a million of you now, nationwide. I need the retired to understand what we must do differently. And in a way, it's going back to our roots. You know, I was in a, a bargaining conference in Michigan, 11 or 1,200 people in the audience, and I said, raise your hand, everyone in this room who was there when you bargained your first contract. No hands went up. And see the difference between getting a bargaining law or getting your first comprehensive contract is totally different than operating it for 25 years. You had to have everybody involved. The first time we picketed, it was my job to get retired Lieutenant Colonel Lee Perry on a picket line. He was there. We needed people like Lee Perry on the picket line. But see, once we got it going, once we had a good, solid, effective organization, we